During the Seven Years' War, the Prussian-held town of Kohlberg in Brandenburg, Prussian Pomerania was besieged by Russian forces three times. The first two sieges, in late 1759 and from 26 August to 18 September 1760, were unsuccessful. A final and successful siege took place from August to December 1761. In the sieges of 1760 and 1761, the Russian forces were supported by Swedish auxiliaries. As a consequence of the fall of the city, Prussia lost her last major port on the Baltic coast. While at the same the Russian forces were able to take winter quarters in Pomerania. However, when Empress Elizabeth of Russia died only weeks after the Russian victory, her successor, Peter III of Russia, made peace and returned Kohlberg to Prussia. First Siege A first siege in 1759 was repelled by the Prussian defenders. Russian Count Fermor was ordered to expel the Prussian forces commanded by Count Donna from Pomerania take Kohlberg and establish winter quarters in Brandenburg, Prussian Pomerania. Furmore reluctantly pursued his objectives, regarding full achievement nearly impossible. Furmore dispatched 4,000 troops and 20 artillery pieces, commanded by Lieutenant General Johann Parman back to siege Kohlberg. Defended by 700 regulars and a levy, commanded by Heinrich Sigismund von der Heide who had just upgraded the defense works and stocked supplies. Siege was laid on 4 October. Though Russian reinforcements brought up Parmenbach strength to 5,000 the following month, heavy rain and storm rendered successful construction of siege works impossible. In addition, 27 Russian warships arrived to assist the siege from the seaside, yet throughout October, storms wrecked 21, and none came close enough to participate. The siege was lifted on 1 November. Second Siege the Russian forces had the objective to establish their 1,760-61st winter quarters near the Lower Oder, which could only be achieved by securing the fortress of Kohlberg. In July, a Russian expedition commanded by Gottlob Heinrich Tottelben advanced into Brandenburg, Prussian Pomerania, but upon reaching the Riga Valley was ordered to the Silesian battlefields. On 27 August, Kohlberg was bombarded from the sea by the entire Russian Baltic fleet. 21 ships of line, three frigates and three bomb vessels, all of them had arrived the day before. On 29 August, they were joined by six ships of line and three frigates of their Swedish allies. Some 8,000 troops were deployed and started constructing siege works on 6 September, covered by cavalry units. The Prussian defense was commanded by Colonel Heinrich Sigismund von der Heide. Frederick II of Prussia ordered a force of 3,800 commanded by Major General Hans Paul Werner to disengage from the battles in Silesia and instead relieve Kohlberg, which was some 340 kilometers to the north. After a 13-day ride, Werner's force arrived the Russian lines on 18 September and attacked immediately. A successful skirmish made the besiegers believe they were dealing with a force of up to 20,000 and led them to withdraw on board of their vessels. The Swedish and Russian ships left on 20 and 23 September, respectively. Russian casualties amounted to 600 troops. After the battle, Frederick promoted both Werner and Haida to the rank of a lieutenant general. Third Siege Totalben, who had commanded the Russian spring campaigns in Pomerania the year before, committed treason and revealed to Frederick the Russian plans to siege Kohlberg again in 1761. Once Frederick was aware of this, he ordered supplies to the fortress, withdrew Prince Friedrich Eugen of Wattenberg from the Swedish front in Mecklenburg. Wattenberg reached Kohlberg on 4 July where he commanded a reinforced defense force of 12,000 troops. Russian commander Pyotr Alexandrovich Rumyantsev Zadunesky, commanding a weaker force, took quarter in nearby Kozlin on 23 June, awaiting reinforcements. 
Wattenberg's plan to attack Rumyantsev as long as the odds favored Prussia was cancelled by Frederick as too risky. After 3,000 Russian troops had reinforced Rumyantsev in mid-August, he laid siege to Kohlberg on the 22nd of August. 23 Russian warships assisted Rumyantsev at this point, an additional eight Swedish warships joined later. The town was continuously bombarded from 25 August to 25 September. On 18 September, Rumyantsev stormed Wattenberg's defense outside the town, suffering 3,000 casualties with little ground gained. He then changed his strategy from preparing storms to cutting off Kohlberg from supplies. On 30 September, Kohlberg was reinforced by several thousand Prussian troops commanded by Dubislav Friedrich von Platen. With the reinforcements, the fortress was defended by nearly 20,000 Prussians. Rumyantsev, who lost naval support on 9 October when the Russian warships sailed home because of bad weather, was reinforced by part of Alexander Borisovich Buterlin's army the same month. His cavalry, commanded by Gustav Berg, cut off Prussian communication lines, countered excursions of Wattenberg's 2,700 horse and captured at least four their units. As the Prussians were running out of supplies, Platten's force was ordered to Berlin in late October. In November, Wattenberg abandoned Kohlberg, broke through the Russian lines to reunite with Platen and then attempted to rout Rumyantsev from the rear. On 12 December, the Russian forces halted his final attempt at Spi, some kilometers southwest of Kohlberg, inflicting 1,000 casualties on his force. Wattenberg's remaining 8,000 troops thereupon retreated to Stettin. On 16 December, Kohlberg capitulated to Rumyantsev, enabling his forces to take winter quarter in Brandenburg, Prussian Pomerania. Another Russian achievement was that Rumyantsev's siege kept Platon's forces in check, whom hard-pressed Frederick had expected to aid him in Silesia once Kohlberg was relieved. By the time Platon escaped the pocket, the setbacks Frederick suffered in Silesia were already irreversible. Thus Platon was ordered to Berlin instead to support his Saxon ally. Aftermath By the time of the sieges, Russian Tsaress Elizabeth of Russia was suffering from an illness which led to her death on 25 December 1761 or 5 January 1762. Elizabeth was succeeded by her nephew, Peter III of Russia, an admirer of Frederick partially raised in Berlin. Peter, who had opposed Russia's anti-Prussian involvement in the Seven Years' War, ceased the hostilities with Prussia at once and by the terms of the Treaty of St. Petersburg returned to her all occupied territories and provided Frederick with 20,000 troops. Deprived of their Russian ally, the Austrian House of Habsburg was unwilling to continue the war on their own, and returned to the status quo ante with Prussia in the Treaty of Hubertusburg.